In the last lesson, you learned how to send a job to the printer to print a hard copy. However, paperless delivery has become increasingly popular as it is more cost-effective, familiar to the environment, and for many clients, much more convenient. The two most popular formats for paperless delivery are PDF and ASCII. PDF stands for Portable Document Format. PDF is a convenient format to use for providing transcripts to clients because a PDF file can be opened on pretty much any computer or tablet or smartphone using free PDF reader software. Unlike conversion to ASCII format, a transcript that has been printed to PDF looks exactly like the printed transcript with all of the same elements including font styles and sizes, bold, underline, italics, and graphics elements such as box lines and images. Okay, in the last lesson I printed a copy of the Gilpin job. Let's say one of my clients has requested me to provide the Gilpin job in PDF format. To create a PDF file, you'll begin with the print function. As you learned in the last lesson, there are a number of ways to access the print function. Right now, I'll just click the print button on the function bar. The primary difference between printing to a printer and printing to PDF is the selection you make at the printer prompt. Instead of selecting your local or network printer, you'll select Stenograph PDF. As you can't use a pen to sign a certificate page inside a computer file, Many reporters providing PDF files to clients will purchase a digital ID certificate that can be used to sign the PDF and also use it to select from a variety of protection options such as password protection and limiting end user capabilities for copying, pasting, and or printing the file. Some reporters will scan to create electronic versions of exhibits. There is a feature within Case Catalyst, the attachment point format symbol, that enables you to attach files to the transcript both for the reporter's reference and so that they can be delivered electronically with the transcript. To include attachments with the PDF file, you simply select this option. Some reporters, federal officials in particular, may be required to submit the transcripts for archival in a format called PDF-A. If this is requested, you can select this option. Notice that if you select this option, you cannot add a digital signature or include attachments. After you click Print, You'll get a dialog box prompting you to select a location where the PDF file will be saved. By default, the file will be saved in your Case Catalyst user. If you prefer to save the file to a different location, you can click the Browse button and select a preferred location. In addition to saving the file locally, you can also open your local email program and immediately attach the PDF file to an email message. Then, go ahead and click Save. As you can see, my local email program opened, and the Gilpin December 15th PDF is already attached. All I have to do is address the email, write a message, and send it. And, if I need another copy of the PDF for my own review or to send to someone else, it's right here in my user. This would be a great time to practice creating a PDF file. Go to the Delivery Practice file in the training user and follow the instructions for Exercise 2. When you're ready, proceed with the next lesson in order.